What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi. How are ya? Okay, so we are in Italy. We're in the city of Milano. It has been such a beautiful trip. We're here for business. We're making new products. We're meeting with new manufacturers, current manufacturers, and we're creating some fucking amazing stuff out here. I know you guys have heard me say in countless videos that Italy has the best highlighter formulas. Well, they do. <laughs> and that's why we're here. We're, we're not just making highlighters. We got a whole array of amazing products coming, but I also forgot that I love makeup shopping and Italy is the hot spot for all the designer brands. So I have never been to a makeup counter where they have Valentino Beauty, they have Christian Louboutin and all the bougie all in one space. So we're gonna go raid the makeup counters um, and I may even step in and do a, a client's makeup if they let me. So let's go on a little Italian adventure and we'll see you in a second. Oh my god. Hey. hey. So Nicole's here. <laughs> <laughs> really? Right at this moment? No uh -huh. This apple girl. An apple a day. <laughs> An apple a day. Oh my god. Okay, so here's where we are. It's stunning. Our hotel's right here. I just spilled Red Bull all over my coochie. It's fine. But look where we are, you guys. Oh my god. Stunning. So we're gonna go into uh this area where they have all the shopping centers. Hi, how are you? Beautiful. Oh, thank you. What's going on over here? This is where everyone takes their photos. Right oh, in the middle. really? Yeah. I love it. Oh my god, let's do it. Let's look up. Oh, wow, I get it. Woo! Hi, hi, how are you? Sure. Of course you can. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're gonna go so makeup much. shop. We're so excited. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so beautiful to be able to meet you. Oh, and the weather's stunning. Awesome. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. So sweet. Yes. Oh, bitch. Valentino Beauty. It looks stunning. I'm all about formula and packaging. Obviously, it can't look awful. So we have an eyeshadow palette where you can cut, you can put them in. We have blush, eye and cheek. So you can do a powder, mini lipsticks. What is this with the chain? Oh, that's so cute. Her name. Wow. And then you have the lipstick. Wow. That's iconic. That's Oh, cool. So we're gonna try to get all of us down to no makeup right now. It is so busy in here. Um, oh, look at the full wall. Yes. Dream it, love it, refill it. Me with every guy. <laughs> hey. I like this. What is it, bitch? Tell well, me. Well, let me tell you all about it. Okay. So. <laughs> Is that, what is that, I guess for real? it's exclusive to Valentino. Okay, it's, it's like the um, formula. The formula. Okay. So it's uh, dual. You can use it, mix it with foundation, or use it by itself. Okay. Or you get the pearl. It's like the Charlotte Tilbury base that we like, the flawless uh, filter. Yeah. Um, but I guess there's only two shades. This okay. one is best for us. Okay, okay. let's get both. Just to see for Yeah, right? Okay. It's really pretty. Nice. Christian Louboutin makeup and perfume. This packaging is so next level, you guys. Like, I really can't. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so today we're at the counter and we're here shopping. Um, you guys know that, but look at this packaging. Everything is just to die for. It's literal pieces of art. This perfume, Jesus. Literal genius. Um, I'm gonna do some shopping. I'm inspired. This packaging's turning me on. <gasps> Liquid eyeshadow. Look at this, what the f Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let me grab some things and check out. I'll be right back. Oh, hi everyone. All right, we're back from Italy. Donatella, do you want to move there, Punkin? <laughs> um, hi guys. Okay, so we're about to try all the makeup. I miss Italy already. Milano was amazing. It was like my 10th time there. I could literally move there. Um, Wyoming, pause. Maybe in the future, but here you want to play Donatella? <laughs> so all the dogs are surrounding me. Um, Donatella just had surgery, she got fixed, and she's doing amazing. I just took her cone off, and she's like, thank you. Okay, so, oh, how are we feeling, skin? Oh, bitch, hi. So, okay, <laughs> this, this is how my makeup showed up, guys. I pulled it out of my luggage. You know the bag broke, so, oh my God. There is an array of stuff here, you guys saw. 
Okay, so I've been dying to try Valentino Beauty. They are an amazing fashion, prestigious brand, and hello, they have a new foundation out. I have not tried it yet. It's hard to find this stuff in America. I know it's online, but I wanted to see it in person. So this is the Very Valentino Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. It has SPF in it. I got an array of shades, as you saw in the vlog video. And we're gonna try it out today, and let's pray it doesn't flop. Now, I also bought a candle. Hi. Valentino Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Oh my god, Chris. This is a perfume. Okay, I got a new perfume, guys. Didn't know it. I swear this was a candle when I was in the store. Oh, that's nice. Now, I don't really know if I want to smell like this all day, so I'm gonna spray it in the box. My God, that's amazing. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot here, and it snowed yesterday, by the way, and that's 80 degrees. So we're gonna um, high self plug the Jeffree Star Skin Banana Fetish Lip Mask. Oh my God, we're gonna prep my lips because we have some lipstick here to try. Okay, so you guys saw, there was a lot of stuff in there. It was, the store was called, that's what it's called. <laughs> um, and I got a lot of stuff, oh my God. Now makeup there, yeah, it's the same price, it's expensive, but I had a friend in town with me that worked in the place, so look bitch, Miss Jeffrey Lynn got a 22% discount on her full purchase, thank you. <laughs> um, so I got discounted makeup, how amazing. So obviously I paid for this, this is not PR. We're gonna unbox some. Now you guys saw that Go Clutch Valentino thing. Like I literally think it's like, it's like a little purse. So let's open it up, oh my God, whoa. You know the designer packaging is always bougie, they give you the full fantasy. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I know the lipstick was separate. So you start out like this. This is the Go Clutch on the move universal bronzer. Can you imagine just carrying a bronzer around your neck? Like the idea is there, but mm. so you click the little stud thing, it opens. Hi, there's my bronzer. Now you can also put a lipstick here. That's what the girl was doing in store. And then this. This is the chain for my little purse. Okay, so we're gonna assemble this in a minute and get it together, but I'm gonna unbox all of this stuff. Okay, I just unboxed this off camera because there are so many things here. Christian Louboutin liquid eyeshadow. When I saw the packaging, I was like, wow. So impressed, so stunning. Look at this applicator. It's so weird and it's so little. Like, what the hell? But then you swatch it and you're like, okay. I mean, it looks pretty, very nice in champagne bronze, but the component is otherworldly. I got a few shades, a lot of it was sold out, and in, in their country, they were telling me how like every week it's restocked. They're like, oh, come back next week. I'm like, well, I'm gonna be there, <laughs> I wish. So I only could get two shades, I was so upset. Okay, now Christian Louboutin also said, we're gonna really expand our beauty. Remember I reviewed the lip gloss and lipsticks years ago, right, and that crazy metal component. Look at this. Oh my God, this is highlight and blush. It is so beautiful. And I actually went to the lab where they made this because I'm making a different product there. Um, and Italy was amazing. I'm, if you're wondering why I was there, I was not there on vacation. I was there working on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. There is so many different labs out there that manufacture amazing formulas, baked blushes, highlighters. Um, my Extreme Frost is made there. So I saw this on the wall at the manufacturer and I was like, oh, I can assume it's gonna be amazing, but you never know. Okay, so we're gonna try that. And then Valentino, they have so much stuff. You saw the kiosk, it was massive. There's eyeliners, there's lipsticks, there's foundation, there's bronzer, there's blush. There is, oh my God, these, dream dust. Okay, we're trying these. These are multi-reflective eye glitters. Like, hello. All right, now there's a little stopper. I wish it was like hard, hard plastic. This is giving me like Dollar General and then it gets to high fashion. <laughs> All right, let's prep and prime the skin. Today we're gonna be using this guy. Now what the hell is this? I saw it in store and I was like, okay, there was only two shades of it and it is the V Lighter. So this is a dual use liquid light face base and top coat. You're of course gonna put this under your foundation or it says you can wear alone to hydrate, unify and freshen up your skin. And then it says for foundation, it's gonna really smooth and prep it. So great, let's give it a whirl. This is shade Ambra. All right, let's take a little synthetic brush and let's just see what this looks like. Oh my God, this better sheer out. Or Valentino, I'm suing you. They literally only had two shades of this, you guys. Now obviously in Italy, um, 
makeup trends are different, everything is different over there. And this is bizarre. I mean, obviously we're about to put foundation over it, so is it giving me light? Yes. Let's pull out my obnoxious yak mirror. This is bizarre, it's giving me, I just got burned by the sun. By the sun. <laughs> oh my God. All right, now for foundation. Oh my God. Wait a minute. You know how when you're in the store and it's really chaotic? I had like two people helping me. Instead of five foundations, if you're from that store and you're watching this, you sold me three face lighters and not four foundation shades in one light, I think. <laughs> so if anyone needs this look, I have a few extra in town in Wyoming to swing on by and we can... <laughs> oh my God. Only two foundation shades, MR1 and MR2. Let's give this a whirl. We're gonna see if any of these shades match. One is very cool and one is very warm, so. Hmm. Maybe or awful? I think maybe. Let me see here. Oh, that kind of is a good match, no? Yeah. Within the other one, it's a little. I was gonna say a little yellow, but then it kind of blended into my skin. I think I'm gonna do MR2. Or just mix them, I'll mix them on my hand. The consistency is very liquidy. I'm like shook by it, like, oh my God. So I'm just gonna take the Beauty Blender and just go over both shades. Oh my God. Okay, so it's going on actually really pretty. It's looking very luminous. Um, I can't believe I still have eyebrows. That's scaring me. But okay, let me cover my whole face and uh, be right back. How does it look, Chris? Hideous or great? I think it looks great. It's good, yeah. It's very luminous. Obviously, the the primer <laughs> is underneath it. Um, I like it. It's different. It's skin-like, but it gave me a really nice coverage. Um, when I saw it very liquidy, I wasn't sure what to expect, but so far, so good. It's looking nice. It's not settling weird. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's different. Now, I think the primer, I have three of them. I think the primer did not make my pores look great. I definitely should have put something else down, but I feel hydrated and good. It didn't dry me out, but my pores could look a little better. So the problem with this brand is they did not have concealer in, at all. They didn't have a good setting powder. So we're just gonna try as much as we can. Okay, so we have a bronzer some blush and some eye things. We're just gonna do a quick try on you guys and then I'm gonna go, oh my God, let me unbox. What is this? The Pearlescent Stick La Club Multi-Use Glow Stick from Chanel. I forgot I grabbed this. I don't even remember buying this to be honest. Ooh. Oh, okay, a little foundation came off a little, but a little, little, little. Oh, it looks, gla looks glass-like, it looks pretty, huh. Okay, well I don't wanna look bizarre, so let me just do it on the other side. All right, to set the skin, all I could find in that crazy place was, this is a Grillon setting powder, look at this. I know it looks dirty and it's a mess. Let me just go like this. It's very gold. This is a setting powder, it's massive. And it's, oh my God, it's a mess. Okay guys, oh my god this better be translucent so i'm gonna go in and just be really obnoxious about this the lady was like just put it everywhere and i was like work and then i'll brush away the excess in a second so i don't look like i'm johnny depp and blow all right the face is set shockingly the powder did good i'm i'm surprised now it's a little darker i wish it was lighter there was literally only a few shades that was the lightest one i think it's giving like you know when your concealer is lighter or your foundation and you put powder under your eyes, the color can be a little ugh, peculiar. So it's getting peculiar right now. Oh my lord. Let's try this. So we have the Louboutin Blush Highlighter Duo. And then we have the Valentino. They're saying that this is an eyeshadow and contour. And I was like, is there something underneath here? Yeah, that little brush that no one will ever use. All right, let's get this thingy out. This is the best thing ever. It's just keeps your brushes available and ready at will. All right, this is a Charlotte Tilbury brush, the Pattern Sculpt. I've been using this forever since the dawn of time. Ooh. Let's see what Miss Valentino's giving. Oh, it's nice. 
It's blending nice, it's finely milled, it doesn't look chalky. Now, for people that have really blonde or white hair, when the makeup gets here, at the end, I just take a makeup wipe and I just run it here to get all the powder out. So I don't really like to care about it while I'm doing it. I like that it's soft and not like really, really harsh, because sometimes you use these products and you're like, oh my god, I just contoured for a year. And the idea is to always match your face, you guys. I've seen people where the one side's this way, one side's that way. Girl, you need to sculpt in unison. All right, the contour is really cute. I love that it's subtle. Now, the price point, girl, you know there's something for $7, and so that's gonna be a little better. But I, I do like the formula. I love the custom stamp in there. It's a very luxury. I mean, the packaging feels amazing. It's You're giving the full Valentino experience. I love the uh, thing in the back. I can't put this no concealer, I'm so sad. So we're gonna dip into this guy, and I, I need to know if this is a good highlighter or not. But we're gonna do blush first. Let's grab our old school MAC blush brush, yes! Okay, so I like both of these colors. I think they're really pretty. I usually just kind of will mix both, do a little cocktail. Very lipstick nick of me. And, ooh, that has pigment on the brush. I feel like the formula could have been better, but it's blending. This is, I mean, it's not like it's hideous. It's just like, eh, for blush, I wanted like a little bit more rich of a powder. All right, the blush is on. It's cute. I I'm not trying to be a hater, but you know, yeah. Now the highlighter in the middle, let's give it a whirl. Oh, she's cute. She has a glow. Now I know a few years ago, we were all literally covering our faces and coochies and lives and highlighter and, and not everyone is into that vibe anymore. I get it. So this is, this is cute. This is actually really nice. You definitely see it. It's beautiful. It has a nice glow to it. I would definitely, and we'll see if, oh my God. We'll see what happens later. But I would definitely take this and do a moment under the brow. I know my brows aren't really done right now. I've been working on products extensively. Now remember that Chanel uh, stick highlighter is under here. It's kind of adding like a base. Yeah, this is pretty. This is like a little on the go moment. I would definitely take this to travel and just have a cute moment. I can't believe the only things I have left, you guys. I'm actually very annoyed that there wasn't more stuff available. This was a eye to cheek dual blush eyeshadow. And I was like, you guys are not marketing blush and eyeshadow in one. And like, yes we are. So this was the contour thingy. <laughs> And this is the blush. My girl, we're, we're not, that, that just seems lazy to me. You're not gonna do blush and eyeshadow in one. I, that's not just, that's not happening. But literally no fallout, that's nice. Or it's awful. We'll see, we'll see in a second. So we all know that blush is sheer. So if you want a wash of color and you just want like literally like makeup on the go for five seconds, yeah, this actually could be cute. And that was me being for real not shady, like, you know what I mean? And what's funny is I literally have a business meeting in probably an hour and I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna look like in the end? Do I gotta wipe it all away? I think it's really cute for on the go. I mean, okay. But we all know that blush and eyeshadow are very different in pigmentation. Um, but in some countries and in high fashion, a wash of color is really all they want. Not everything is always crazy rainbow, highly pigmented crazy, you know, so. This is for the Subtle girl on the go. Can you see the eyeshadow, Chris, or no? Yeah, you can see it. It's there, right? She's there. <laughs> She's there. I definitely, you know what's funny? You know what? It came with this little brush, and I'm like, look, how, what is the point? Can you imagine me trying to hold this? Like, it's just so tiny. My nail literally covers all of it, girl. Oh my god. Yeah, this, I don't know about this. I mean, I literally could, like, get ready in five minutes with this if I need to do that, but. Oh my god, the only thing I have left is glitter and lips. Now, I'm really sad that Christian Louboutin didn't put together my lipstick for me, but there was a, a way to customize the lips. So remember the crazy component, if you've never seen it, it looks nuts. Um, this charm is supposed to go on it and hang off of it. I cannot tell you for the life of me how it goes on. There's no mechanism, there's no way to do it, except I'd have to open this with pliers. And with these nails, girl, I would rather pierce my nail and just let this hang off of it. It's probably what I'm gonna do with it. But the component is stunning, it's so beautiful. Let me, let me just swatch this right now. Let's see what it's giving. Oh yeah, there it is. It's just really pretty. With the darker lip liner, it's giving Pamela Anderson, it's giving whore, it's giving stunning, it's giving gorgeous. 
And now Valentino has uh, these lipsticks. And I bought two, they're refillable. The component is so weird. I like it, it's just bizarre. And this is what theirs looks like with the V in the lip, it's really cute. What color are we feeling though today, Miss Thing? That one's a lot more brighter. We have one more. So there's those, I mean, they all, it looks like the same formula. They're very like satin, but like shiny. So let's try the yellow one without the charm. <laughs> oh my God, my lip mask is on. Mm, hold on. All right, my lips are prepped and hydrated. Now, I don't know what shade this is. I wish I could tell you. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. I wasn't gonna do a lip liner, but I'm like, let me just wear this by itself today. <sighs> okay. I think the shade's pretty, it's cute. It's a lipstick, right? It wasn't mind blowing. You're buying this for the packaging. We know that. I think that's with a lot of these things. The packaging looks so stunning. And then sometimes a formula, it's like, mm -hmm. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, she needs mascara on. We're getting her yak out. Turned off that yak. We're using the iconic and legendary Fug Proof. Now, I was sad the Valentino mascara was sold out. There were so many things sold out at that store. It was a zoo. There were so many people there, which is amazing, but I was sad I couldn't get the Valentino mascara. <sighs> oh my God. We forgot to try the glitter. All right, mascara is on, feeling a little bit more like myself. Now, I forgot about the glitters. Um, I'm a little nervous about trying them. We're gonna put them on my hand because if it looks disastrous and I look horrible for the rest of the day, we can't have that. <laughs> so Valentino, they put out a glitter primer. Now, this is literally supposed to be, it's called Stick With Me. That's a cute name. And let's give it a whirl. I think it's only fair we just put it on our hand and see what it's giving first. Oh, okay. Oh, bitch, she's feeling like glue. Oh, yeah. All right, so you see that like white-ish cast? It's glue, baby. Now, let's go in with, I have three shades here. This one is zero one. God, that's so creative. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. We showed you earlier, it's a little pot. I hate this plastic thing. It feels so cheap, the fact that I can bend it and it's not like, Legit is annoying. It's a fucking Valentino. So if you were just to go like this, let's see what it's giving. Oh, it's kind of like gel like glitter. Huh. And then let's go right here. Oh, okay. So it really does stick. That's nice. Okay. So that's what it's giving. This green one's really pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Huh. Okay. So it's definitely looking like they work. Let's let it dry for a second, give it a whirl. Let me feel it with my other finger. It's not tacky. That's nice. Cause I was like, if you look up and your lid's stuck together. Oh my God. Okay. I mean, it looks really pretty. I'm definitely gonna try it when I go out and give it a whirl. Now, the only other thing I'm seeing here besides the five highlighter primers. Chris, when you're looking at me, what, what, is, what was your favorite product of the day? I like the uh, Chanel. The little stick yeah, thing? It was that, cool, that was huh? was really cool, yeah. I kind of want to put more on. I think the foundation, well, we're, we're going to do a final recap right now, but I'm staring at everything and I'm <sighs> a little disappointed. So staring at everything here, the things that I really like that were like, oh, wow. I think the foundation, bitch, it's really pretty. I'm sitting here like, oh, it hasn't gotten weird there's no fine lines so the valentino foundation it might be that girl now this lipstick formula was beautiful but for 60 to 80 dollars a girl stop it literally stop um i think the foundation was definitely beautiful now i'll tell you what i what i'm 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 on the fence about when I was applying this, I was like, eh. But as the blush formula like is on my face, it's really, really pretty. Now, I don't know if just because the highlighter's over it, but I think it all kind of went together, you know? But there, uh, everything else, I'm not sure. Now, this powder was really pretty. I loved how it made my pores look, but it wasn't light enough. It was giving me Italian under eye high fashion and it just wasn't for me but the formula is amazing so i need to find a lighter shade um so let, let's just start off the bat here the valentino very valentino foundation the guerlain setting powder and we're gonna say it bitch we're gonna say it the christian louboutin blush highlighter duo and last but not least <gasps> this chanel pearl stick are all jeffree star approved yes now, everything else, you guys, mm, 
I'm not gonna recommend a $60 blush eyeshadow with one shade, bitch, absolutely not. This, it was cute, but you can literally dip into any palette and just woo, and you're good. So this girl was not it. Now the primer that we um, started off the video with, this, this wasn't it, it was too dark, and I'm like, girl, it, it wasn't it. I think it made my pores look horrendous, thank God the foundation fixed it. And then the little purse, mm. It's a cute idea, let's be honest. It's a cute concept, it's there. Now, were the girls working there wearing this? Yeah, they're paid to. Is any normal human being gonna walk around town with a purse contour around their neck? You know it, they're not! You all know they're not. Stop it right now. It's horseshit. <laughs> I think it's the packaging was innovative, shout out to the designer, but girl, we're not wearing bronzer around our neck. We're, we're just not doing it. That. This is my final thoughts. Um, I definitely can't wait to go to Italy again. I love it there. We have a lot of products coming out of there this year, next year. Um, but Miss Valentino, you're half a hit, you're half a miss. Kristen Louboutin, you're, you're always half a hit and half a miss. I think some of the products are absolutely phenomenal. The packaging is otherworldly. You saw in the intro, like, oh my God. I've never seen perfumes that look that rich, expensive, and just stunning. But okay, you guys. It's time to get to yakin. So let me know down below what you think about all the products, what you loved, what you hated, and I'll see you on the next review. <laughs> Bye guys.